Welcome to another edition of Travel Starts FAQ Friday with me, Nick Paul. Today we're going to be talking about baggage restrictions on flights, and this is in relation to Priscilla's question last week. Her question related to something a little bit more complex, so we've actually included the answer in the description below. Uh, but I think this is a question that a lot of people ask, and we thought we could shed a little bit more light on this. Uh, so there are a lot of things that factor in uh, determining what your baggage allowance is on a flight. Uh, one of the things is your routes and destinations. So flights over the Atlantic, for example, would be one that has a certain kind of luggage restriction as opposed to flights directly to Europe. Um, you're also looking at the type of airline, uh, which airline it is rather. Uh, certain airlines do uh, offer more baggage than others. Uh, and then also the cabin that you're traveling in. So that's first class, business class, uh, premium economy, economy, they often all have their own luggage restrictions, but also dependent on the airline. So some examples there, as I said, the transatlantic routes are usually flights that go across the Atlantic. So those are even flights that go, uh, say, for example, Johannesburg to London, then London across to New York. You usually get two pieces of 23 kilos on those flights. This may be changing in, in the future, but currently a lot of the airlines still offer that uh, on that route. Uh, destinations like uh, Nigeria often have much higher luggage, restric luggage restrictions than, uh, than other destinations. For example, Auric Air from Johannesburg to Lagos, you'll get two pieces of 23 kilos. And on SAA, a lot of the tickets actually have uh, three pieces of 23 kilos, which is obviously a massive amount of baggage there. Uh, a lot of the low-cost carriers uh, within Europe and within the US, though, will have no baggage included in the price of your ticket. You actually have to pay to put a bag on the flight. So that's something just to bear in mind there. Another thing is hand luggage. Uh, hand luggage is obviously what you're allowed to take onto the plane. Uh, usually you're allowed one bag, which is around seven or eight kilos, but this will depend on the class that you're traveling in. So if you are traveling in business class or first class, you may be allowed to take an extra bag as well. Those, uh, those cabins in the aircraft usually have a closet that you can put uh, your bags in as well. So uh, the dimensions for these, it varies. Different airlines put different dimensions on, on their websites, but this is SAAs and it's roughly sort of the middle of the road here. Uh, it's 56 centimeters long by 36 centimeters wide and 23 centimeters high. Most baggage that you buy from a baggage store will fit within that, uh, that restriction if you're buying that hand luggage size. Uh, you're also allowed to bring usually a laptop bag and a handbag on uh, with you. So uh, yeah, that'll depend on the airline. They can deny you bringing that on board if it is too big, but it's something that is usually, usually allowed. So I think that, in a nutshell, is w what you're allowed to bring on board and how it all works. Uh, if you're wondering where do you find the information for your particular ticket, usually your travel agent will be able to tell you. It should also be pr printed on the ticket that you've bought. So if it says 2PC, at the end it means two pieces of luggage of 23 kilos. Uh, if it just says 23 kilos or 20 kilos, then you know that's obviously one piece uh, with that weight. Uh, and with tickets that you buy from Travel Start, if you go to www.checkmytrip.com and enter in your uh, airline reference number with uh, your surname, you should be able to pull those details up. You can also email us to find out uh, your luggage restrictions. If you did not book with Travel Start, you'll need to check with the airline you booked with or the travel agent you booked with. They should be able to give you that information. So that's all from me for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more of these updates. And if you've got any travel related questions, ask them in comments below. Who knows, next week we may make it into a video. Thanks.